Aloha Aquarius. This is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with your mid-August to mid-September um, general reading. Okay, so this is for August, August, <laughs> this is for Aquarius, sun, moon, and rising signs. Um, thank you guys so much for being patient with me. I know I haven't had much content out in the last month or so. I have been in transition and have moved to a different island, so I am now all settled in in my new home. So um, hopefully I'm going to be getting more content out for you. Um, that is the goal in this next month here and kind of get back into the swing of things. So um, thank you so much. Please do like, share, subscribe, hit the bell button. All those things help my channel to grow and expand. Um, and leave me a comment. That's always fun as well. Okay, let's get started for Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising. Okay. We're going to get a crystal card. And then uh, a Keepers of the Light card. Just to see which... Uh, um, ascended Master is washing over. So I had a little bit of an indigestion here um, and they're like I'm having a hard time choosing my words. So many of you may be working on your throat chakra for this particular month. They're asking you to speak up and actually um, say what you need to say, say your truth, say how you're feeling um, because it's almost like there's new information coming in for you Aquarius. This is your time. We have opened up the age of Aquarius but it's like you're having a hard time digesting the new information and that might may come in the form of like physical digestion or like throat kind of things happening because it's coming more in like the the throat or like the air getting caught right here so if that's happening to you that's just um an indication that it's time to like speak up to do um, more breathing exercises um to really say what you need to say because actually now is the time for aquarius um oh sorry um, you guys are the leaders of this um, of this new energy, okay? All right, so we have rainbow fluorite is the stone of the rainbow bridge, said to be a healer, a healer of bones and teeth to minimize the pain associated with joints and arthritis. It's known to create order and chaos. The stunning stone is great for meditation has a direct connection to channeling archangels. Use this zone when you desire to connect with other realms, okay? Uh, beautiful. And then it, you also got Labradorite, the stone of magic. Okay, so it says it um, promotes lucid dreaming, creativity, and deepens insight. It's said to strengthen one in, one's intuition and aid in psychic ability. And so for many of you, you're really stepping up. We've just finished the Lionsgate. Um, that portal closed on the 12th. You're stepping into more psychic um, energies. You're stepping into more intuitive energies at this time. So um, carrying these stones will really help to um, balance you, to help you to go to those other realms, to strengthen the intuition, but also to let it be more balanced because I'm having a hard time, like my words are like coming out backwards when I'm trying to say them, which typically indicates to me when I have trouble with uh, that, it's that I've flipped to the realm of spirit in a way that I'm seeing things like the reversal, okay? Because like even what they're showing is like how light comes in through the eyes. So what we see out here in the world, um, it actually is backwards, right? So it comes through um, our eyes and when it hits like the, I think the iris or the retina, it, um, it actually um, transforms poses and flips the image so that what we see out here is not upside down, right? So spirit is kind of upside down, right? So if you're finding yourself having a hard time to talk or um, seeing things sort of backwards and like you're not typically like dyslexic or something of that sort, um, know that that you're like kind of transitioning into that spiritual realm and that's an indicator, oh, I've just moved into the spiritual realm, so pay attention. Um, you're Ascendant Master is the um, Green Tara. Um, this is Supreme Protection. I forget who else got this. Uh, might have been Virgo. No, it was not. 
it was Libra got this one. So if you have Libra placements in your chart, uh, check that out, okay? And so it says, you are protected, cords are being cut, move beyond limitation and trust. So you are protected to move into this new spiritual realm of yourself. You are protected to move into um, bringing in the new technologies, both of healing, of actual technology, of your ideas, Aquarius, because you guys have the ideas. Aquarians live 50 years in the future and then they bring the technology back to us. Okay, so you guys are um, the way showers. So the things that like seem quirky or that you have been um, thinking of or working on, those are the things that are needed at this time. Okay, so they're asking you not to discount what you're getting in dreams and what your the ideas that you're having. Write them out. Okay, find a way to share them uh, when the time is right, and you'll know. Okay, perfect. So how you're coming through right now, Spirit asked me to do a Celtic cross, so this is going to be a little um, more of an in-depth reading um, today. So you're coming through as Page of Cups. This is beautiful. It's like um, basically your heart's opening again. You're having new ideas. You're uh, Those of you that are single, you're ready to love again. Those of you that are looking to do a new job or change things, you're ready to like move into that. So you're really in this time of... of looking into that communication from the heart okay looking into what are my dreams what are my biggest ideas um and and wanting to implement those so you're absolutely in this beautiful space of coming from the heart space and how do i now like um communicate that into the world so you're coming through as truly being centered in your heart space and being in that dream mode and that's a really beautiful place to be what is the obstacle or the challenge or as i call them opportunity for aquarius at um, for this mid-august to mid-september time frame okay okay so the challenge is um, a bit about balance okay we have the page of swords and the ten of cups so the challenge is to allow yourself to be happy as you go through different transitions um, to maintain the happy family for those of you um, as you're learning something new as you're getting these downloads from spirit um, because the page of swords really indicates the aha it indicates um, sometimes new education new communication like i pay attention penny girl starting to like get upset about um like something outside our door penny come here Okay, so you may have multiple different energies around you. Thank you, sis. All done. Um, you may have different energies around you um, that are different uh, vibrations, okay? So some may be irritants or annoyances or like, you know, have you on guard. Remember, you have supreme protection here. So you're being protected. Um, but that's the balance as you're kind of moving into the new realms of your spirit, the new uh, way of doing things. Some of you may even be getting um, new education opportunities coming through. Um, so it's really trying to maintain that harmony both within self and within your friendships and relationships. So that's going to be the challenge or obstacle because uh, I do feel like this to me is coming through more as like even though it's a general read more of a spiritual sort of um like new beginnings that are happening for you and those that heart awakening that's happening and so essentially it's like i feel like your body's going to be going through many changes and you're having to learn um what that means some of you that are healers may be learning like new modalities because you're seeing things differently of how you can more uh, be more effective in your practice and um, you know for those of you that don't do that uh, a healing modality as a as a job it's basically there's this um, balance between what's opening up for you um, and I really because like I feel like real flighty right now and there's a lot of energy and like electricity going like up through my spine but like really kind of like gathering in in here and cause me to be a little bit dizzy so if some of you have been dizzy please sit down you know like allow yourself to uh, drink some water have 
um, the opportunity to let your body integrate the new, okay? Let's, what is over Aquarius? The uh, influences, what is over Aquarius? The conscious influences, all right. I said one more time, okay. Go. And come. All right, so what's over Aquarius is, okay, seven of pentacles. So your conscious mind, this is a bit of analysis paralysis, okay? So consciously, I feel like you're in this state right now of because things are so changing, you're not sure which way to invest. Um, so you're really trying to make the best investment that you can. Aquarius, you're trying to invest your life, your money, your love, your heart, all into um, places that are going to... Um, those seeds that are going to grow to fruition, okay? But what this is showing me is like, it does grow, okay? So this card can sometimes be the analysis paralysis card. So it's like, there's never a right time to make the decision. Um, you just need to make the decision and then all of the energies will balance out after that. So it's sort of like, I feel like many of you have been deciding either to do a new career or get into a new relationship, or some of you leave a relationship that would be more uh, more harmonious to you if the energy doesn't serve anymore. And so it's saying, you know, or um, they're also saying health, so like taking on that new eating plan, or, um, you know, whatever the case may be, it's the ideas that you've been having that you know that you need to do, because it's recurring, um, but there's been this analysis paralysis. Will I have enough money? Will I have enough energy? Can I do that? Will I make it on my own if I leave this person? Oh, will my heart be safe if I let this person in? Okay, and what they're saying is yes, it's it's time to make that decision all is well. You know, you're coming through as the Page of Cups and you are supremely protected. Let's see what's in the root or the subconscious mind for Aquarius. Okay, we have the world. All right, so the world here is um, you have successfully completed a cycle. This is more than likely that 10 year cycle. The Lion's Gate also helped us to open another 10 year cycle. And for uh, many of us at, of a certain age, it's really the energies that are leading to the rest of our uh, life here, um, at least in the current life expectancy on earth. Um, so, um, this is running in your subconscious mind, okay? So in the subconscious, what's below you is the fact that you have finished a cycle and you're opening a new. So that's the program that's running in the background. That's the thing, like you're opening this new cycle and that's the thing that is, um, bringing all of these, these things to the forefront, okay? This is the root, the basis of the changes that are being made for you right now. Okay, how is the past affecting Aquarius? For this month in this reading. Okay, we have Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So the past may be that you felt like there wasn't enough money, You and it doesn't matter whether you're male or female, excuse me, um, or how your investments were, or what they're saying with this is like kind of the COVID situation. So for those of you that maybe had like lost some money or had to like do business differently, it was like you were saving money and not quite as, um, you know, philanthropic as you normally are. Like Aquarians, you're very generous and humanitarians. So the queen of pentacles is a humanitarian. She's the one who's super generous, kind of overspending. But in the past you had to rein that in and to be a little bit more careful with your funds, with your energy, with everything else. And that's what's affecting your decisions now. And so I feel like for, for some of you, it's because of what's going on in the background program on earth right now with all of the pandemic stuff. Um, but it's like you're moving into a future of being um, highly successful and building your own reality. Um, for others of you, it was just a time where you took some time back 
where you really pulled your energy back some. Um, for some, it may just be that you were constricted not being able to travel or like spend in the way that you normally do. Um, but it is affecting that kind of analysis paralysis that you've been having lately. And it's saying um, no need for that, you know. Let's look at future energies for Aquarius for this month coming up. How, what are the future energy? More. Oh, there we go. Yep, we have seven of cups. Okay, so discernment. So um, future energy here is like you're going from the page to the seven. So uh, you're really using your discernment and deciding um, how you're going to give your heart, making sure that you don't get um, thieved from, making sure you make good business decisions. Again, this can be paired with the other. It's a spirit. Seven is a spiritual number. So uh, spiritually, you are moving forward. So you're really learning. Um, that's not the typical meaning of this card. But what they're showing me is because you're moving into new things spiritually and the water has to do, the cups have to do with our emotions and our heart. You're learning how to guide that energy through. And so some under some of the cups, even those that seem spiritual you might find a snake or a bat you know so you're wanting to find the ones where the river is flowing where the ladder is going somewhere and you are successfully um, in these future energies learning how to guide your emotions and learning how to guide your um your own boat here okay um but you are using discernment and you are choosing from a spiritual perspective so i know that's not the traditional meaning but that's the one we got okay what is your attitude we have ten of wands so aquarius you're really wanting to leave your burdens behind okay and it's saying that you will so you're pretty determined in this particular month to let those burdens go. Ten of Wands says that there's been many burdens, but notice that she's like walking away and she's walking away with the stuff that she needs. She's walking away with, you know, um, her necessities, her assets, her like friends, you know, pet, you can say, um, towards what she wants. Okay. So it's time to, um, let those go to let your baggage be gone and i feel like you're in that mode where you're like i'm tired of um being out of balance here um and wanting to release the burden so that's a good attitude to have you know for some of you you may feel burdened in the beginning of the month um just because of they keep showing me like the pandemic restrictions for you guys um that hasn't come up as much for the other readings but for you guys it's sort of like okay how do i go to the next level or there's been a crunch on you um either business wise or in your energy field um just feeling the effects of that so they are saying take the protection okay so it's like like they're saying turn the tv off allow yourself the time to meditate you know unplug from social media um, allow your energies to like come into balance and that will help your burdens to um, release okay uh, let's see the environment All right the environment is hero font okay again this is the priest this is um, moving forward spiritually this also has to do with laws and regulations now it wanted to come out reversed but spirit said to show it to you this way Okay, so where you may feel like it's time to release the rules and um, the environment that you're in may have a lot of rules and, and Aquarius doesn't really care for that as much. Let me take a little drink here of my tea. Um, but what it's saying is actually elevating you to joy and to spirituality. So they're saying follow the spiritual laws, okay? And that's going to be the environment that's around you. So even though you may see other types of um, laws, regulation, etc., be happening in your like 3D world, 
you're actually going to be learning the spiritual laws at a higher level. And for others of you, um, this has to do with uh, commitments as well, like long-term commitments. So for some of you in love and romance, your environment may be that you are taking your relationship to a new level if you are with a partner. Um, if you're not with a partner, you may be uh, receiving a partner or going to a wedding or attending virtually a wedding depending on the situation but there's reason to celebrate and um, uh, and there's reason to move forward into the light here okay hopes and fears for Aquarius hopes and fears Okay, same thing again. Hopes and fears for Aquarius. This is um, Eight of Swords. Capricorn got this in this position as well. This is about the prison of the self-imposed prison of your mind. So the hope is is that that things work out better than what you've been thinking. And your fear is so it's like you're running these fears through your mind. Okay, um, and you've been running these different scenarios through your mind. So your hope is that things work out the way that you really want them to. And here's the truth of it, is that they will. Notice that she's not bound. It's just the mirror reflection, it's just her mind. Okay, so anytime you have like the stinking thinking that happens or feeling like there's um, starting to fall into fear, um, what they're saying is um, really look at yourself, who you really are, and let the mind and the emotions go through. So you are hoping that you can release that and you will successfully release the overthinking. This can be the overanalyzation overanaly or the anxiety that comes from not making the move or the choice. Remember above you is the seven of pentacles, which it's like you have weighed the options long enough. Um, but that's still in your field right now. Um, but I do feel like there's movement forward Aquarius, okay? And let's look at the outcome for Aquarius for this mid-month, uh, mid-August to mid-September. Perfect, your outcome's 10 of pentacles best card in the deck okay so it is saying that you will successfully balance these these new spiritual learnings these aha moments the new communications and with your happy home and family to the ten of pentacles this says all of your financial needs are, are met this is the seed of life in the kabbalah all of your um, family needs are met like health is good there's happiness all around so really good card Ten of Pentacles I like even more than the Ten of Cups because it's saying like even your energetics and your finances are in order, you know, not as well as the heart, okay? And so I really like that card very, very much. So wonderful. It's like one of my favorite, favorite cards for an outcome in the deck. So that's beautiful. Let's get one more from um, the Good Tarot of what Spirit would like to say is the outcome here for Aquarius. All right. Okay, Nine of Earth, which would be the Nine of Pentacles. That suggests a harvest. So you have the Nine and the Ten of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is saying you know, you will get your harvest financially as well as in other areas. You're bringing your energy back to you. Um, you're opening up the new door for this new cycle. It's a really, really beautiful time. Um, and I really like this, um, this look here because she's holding the little seed, um, gathering the harvest and has the little butterfly mask on. And it just reminds me too of something so spiritual. So you're actually harvesting in the spirit world as well. And then we'll do a sacred destiny oracle for Aquarius. And that'll close out your reading, you guys. I know these are a little longer readings today. Uh, we have adventures. Beautiful. So it's time to go on adventures, okay? So new cycle opening. 
Um, pay attention to colorful birds. They're asking you to be in um, nature as well. So new adventures are opening for you. Um, and they're really beautiful adventures. So I feel like remember that you're protected this month. And if you have um, rainbow fluorite and labradorite, and carry or wear those stones. And remember, you are supremely protected. So cut the cords with the ones that, um, you know, are out of balance and allow yourself to move forward, okay? Because remember, the challenge is balancing that spirit with your Ten of Cups, your happy dream in your heart. But you are going to be successful. You have the Ten of Pentacles at the end of this month. So I do feel like some of you may actually even come into some extra money, um, some extra opportunities that you weren't expecting because you are working so diligently to go towards your dreams. So very good, very, very good. Um, thank you if you're still with me, Aquarius. I appreciate you, and until next time, aloha.